We need mainstream news to do their jobs. In the past, during wartime, journalists have put themselves in harm's way in order to try to get to the truth. They need to do the same when it comes to the protests and the rioting and the looting. They need to be on the ground interviewing the protesters and the rioters, asking important questions. They need to interrupt people in order to ask these questions. They shouldn't just give their biased opinions from the comfort of their newsrooms, or even as bystanders. They need to get out there and do their jobs as journalists. The public deserves to hear the messages that the protesters and rioters are promoting, whether it be a good message or a terrible message, whether they're well-informed or are ignorant or in denial of facts and statistics whether people are reasonable and fair, or ideological and incoherent. And if the protesters and rioters are found to be in denial of facts and statistics, the journalists need to do their job and tell them the facts and statistics. Media also needs to interview people who are tired of seeing the rioting, the looting, and the destruction of their cities. Again, whether they're reasonable and fair, or ideological and incoherent. Our media is supposed to be there for the people. They're supposed to actually care about the public, and represent the public. When mainstream media isn't doing their job, and they're merely trying to make money off of misery, division, and destruction, it sometimes makes Trump's statements about our media look coherent and rational. More and more as time goes on, our mainstream media is looking more and more like an enemy that just wants to make money. During these times when so many people are stuck in their homes, it seems like media is more than willing to facilitate a civil war in order to get larger paychecks. It's disgusting.